festive season at hand. You know, a lot of mingling in the given population will take place and especially with the Omicron variant which is fast spreading around the globe and as per the records available with us if I'm not mistaken at least 89 countries have been affected with this variant and for which even in the country it is here to stay with us and this is a variant of concern which is three four times more transmissible as compared with the Delta variant and for which we are taking due precautions at all levels especially with travelers or any foreigners that are coming into the country or to the state and for which we have served advisories to all the districts at the entry points particularly Dimapur, Kohima, Woka, Mon, Mokokchum. So in the days to come what will be the situation one can never say till as of today the fatality is not should not be as high as the delta variant but still it is in the process so we cannot say exactly to what extent it will affect our population especially in a state of Nagaland in the Mongoloid po population that is of the given situation that I can share with you and if you have any query or anything that you have concern the tools for prevention are the same COVID appropriate behavior and vaccination so these are the tools that we have at hand the clinical management also remains the same, as has been explained by our PD. But one thing is, this festivity season will also bring us to a point where there will be chances of transmission, not only of the Omicron variant, but also of the existing variant, which is the Delta variant. So the Delta variant is still, a, is still the dominant strain here in our country. So the measures, the prevention, the responsibilities which one has to take, avoiding crowded spaces, you no? Know, and um, maintaining COVID appropriate behaviors and also to vaccinate as, as and when the time is there for that person to get vaccinated, especially the second dose also. I have said we have given all the instruction to all the districts and as per information that we received yesterday, inbound travelers, one coming from the states, turned out to be positive and for which we have kept him under quarantine and proper genome sequencing we have advised for so till such time as such it is we cannot say whether it is Delta or whether it is Omicron but things are like that but as I have said since we are fully alert and geared up to combat the given situation which may arise for which uh, the happenings that have taken place would like you to be aware of it and how things are going on the existing information and and the available information that we have now where they where it is said that the severity of the the omicron variant is not as much as the other variants but the thing is it is highly transmissible three times more transmissible than the other variant or even the delta variant so once it starts to spread there will be a huge load and huge stress on the existing health infrastructure. 
So whether it is severe or not, a certain percent of the population will have severe form of the disease. So the more the number of people infected, it will also indirectly and directly increase the number of hospitalization and also unfortunate events might take place. So we appeal to all the people to take these things very seriously and also follow all the COVID appropriate behaviors and vaccinate when the time is there to get and especially to get the second dose also. Know the exact situation of how it will hit us but the thing is still as of today the fatality of Omicron is not as high as the Delta variant. It's the information that we have. And, you know, for the Omicron, the severity is, may not be as high as the Delta variant. It may present in the form of a headache, throat irritation, body ache, with extreme weakness. But the manifestation of breathlessness as compared with the Delta variant is not as high as the other one. But uh, as I've said, uh, over the period of time only we'll be able to come out with the exact picture. But as it is highly transmissible, for that reason only, uh, we have to gear up properly for the impending given situation, if at all, if it hits us. But it is very important that we all do testing. Unless we do the testing and you know most of these people may not be having any symptom. So unless you do the testing, any patient, person coming into by flight or by train or from outside, I think it is very essential that we do the testing, do the RT-PCR so that we know the status and we do quarantine or else we will never know it will start spreading like wildfire. So that is very important and a real awareness has to be created among uh, everybody that self-testing and at least declare yourself come and do the testing. Maybe you don't have symptoms. This will stop the virus in circulating. So uh, not only that, we are doing genome sequencing, we are sending our samples outside. We are also at par with other states. So we are also keeping in check of whether it is Omicron or whether Delta or whatever other variant. We are working on that. So unless you do the testing, we cannot sample. We won't know whether it is Omicron. So it is very essential that testing is done at all entry points, which should be a must. The given population within the state, even today we have served uh, advisories to the district in charge the chief medical officers of all the districts to gear up. Even the community health centers and the primary health centers. Because as it is highly transmissible, we don't know exactly in what way it will hit us and for which. Even the lower level, we have asked our establishment, the medical establishment, to be on standby for any given situation. We have sufficient testing kits available in the department and sufficient amount has been distributed. But at the district level, it is also necessary that the district administration, the DCs, the district task force in collaboration with the medical department should rather now awaken and come forward to do more activities, especially in the entry points of the districts. All the testing is being done in the airport, but like you said, there has the testing in the other entry yeah. points have, has, has decreased. But consequent upon the meeting of the task force on COVID-19 of our health and family welfare department, our principal director has already issued an they directed to all the entry points to be reactivated again. No? Mm -hmm. When was the reaction? 
Can you have the have the copy of the of the SLR, and from there we will send it to the Intervog designated lab. No? Right. Intervog. That's the consortium of uh, labs okay. where genome sequencing is being carried out. So it will be sent there, and it will take at least minimum five to six days for the results to come. Okay. Till such time, the person will be kept in isolation. This thing at hand, it is pertinent on our part to create facilities for the genome, genome sequencing for the state and for which we have already written to the government and to the government of India as well so as to expedite this process and for which we are already in the process. Normally where do we send? Which? to Imphal and to Calcutta. Plus one to manpower management, it is it should be a collective effort on the part of the medical department with whatever human resource that is available with us, we are totally geared up and we have been executing our activities with that amount of human resources that is with us. When he first came into the point of entry in, in the country, he was tested and he was found to be negative. That's why he was allowed to proceed for his final destination that was Dimapur. Upon reaching Dimapur, all the necessary details were shared with us. So we had kept him under isolation and he was followed up and on the eighth day he was tested as per the protocol. Okay. So he was tested and then he was found to be positive to this. So now the contact tracing has been initiated. The number of people contact traced, that information I do not have with me at, at the moment. No? It's the recent, it just happened today. So our principal director also, was also of the opinion that we will share this with the media so that uh, you know, nothing is... It just, the results just came out today. Just a few few minutes back before this. So our principal director is of the opinion that this should be shared to the media and you no. Know, so one case only now. But all the others are under our surveillance. We have uh, the airport shares with us the passenger manifest. We have uh, daily sharing of all the details of anyone coming to us from the Ministry and also from the Bureau of Immigration. So we are in touch with all of them. So all the details are shared with us and the necessary follow-ups are being done by us. Not uh, letting our guards down. In fact, the department, in the department, the Minister, the, secret the Principal Secretary, all are having this concern and for which even the minister himself came to the department and we have interacted with him. The principal secretary called for a meeting and even at the chief secretary level we have been sharing their concern with us. And as such, you know, we have been giving instructions time and again to all the districts and I'm sure even on the last day of the working year, in spite of that, we are here working, giving information and trying to keep our staffs in place and to be aware of what may befall our, our path. Uh, and he even expressed his concern pertaining to the, uh, you know, less vaccination in the given population and for which we have called for the meeting, we have called, called all the district immunization officers and the chief medical officers from the different districts. We have sat with them the whole day we have had discussions and to go back to their own respective districts of how to ramp up the activities and for which even on the part of the department we have given giving them extra incentives to 
reactivate their activities further. So I hope even yesterday only some of the officers uh, returned from the districts with their reports from the poorly performing districts. So we will be going through all the necessary documents, whatever they furnish to us, and we will further <coughs> work it up on that. So we return a few districts, or maybe the name, the worst performing districts. Yeah, the places city. like uh, Noplak, Kifiri, Hek, Peren, Woka. and Woka, yes. In preparation for Christmas, and for which joy, peace, harmony, this is what we would like to convey to the public, but at the same time, to keep ourselves on guard, not to be complacent, especially emphasizing on the COVID-appropriate behaviors. That is all that we would like to share with you.